So now we're going to put the first scrapes on the reed. It's going to be a general scrape to create a slope down towards the tip, which is always going to be the thinnest part of your oboe reed. And Julie's going to start um, with just some small scrapes, starting at the tip and working back kind of in a layering fashion so that the tip is always getting scraped more than any other back part of the reed. We want to make sure that we're maintaining the skeletal structure of the reed, so rails on the side, spine in the middle, and always staying away from the middle of the tip, always, because your knife's going to end up there even when you don't mean for it to. We also want to be careful, you'll notice that um, that she does, she's not angling her knife like this. She's just on the flat of the knife, flat of the reed, and creating what in the end will look a little bit like a large W. So if we held the reed up like that, we see a W. If we look at the reed this way, we're looking for just this gradual, general slope. If you're having a hard time holding the reed, some people prefer to have the mandrel in there while they scrape. Um, we would suggest that that's okay for this stage of scraping, but once you get to scraping the tip of the reed and when you're really sort of getting in the finishing stages, um, the mandrel is going to keep you from having the reed at the right angle with your index finger, which is mm -hmm. supporting the back of the reed. So right. anyway, if, if you need it at the beginning, maybe okay, but later we're not going to want it anyway. So um, those are the initial scrapes and uh, we're getting ready to open the reed pretty soon.